Well, welcome to session four of Carving a Drake Mallard. And in this session, we'll focus on the installation of eyes. It'll be a quicker video this time, but um, eye set is so important. I thought we ought to dedicate a segment just to that. First thing we want to do is get the eyes positioned correctly. And a key dimension is the distance between the bill and the front of the eye. So I'm going to use my dividers again to transfer that dimension onto the carving. Both sides. And this is why I say the the drilled hole is strictly a guideline that I put in place at a small diameter to kind of keep me in the ballpark. But when it comes to installation, I want to make sure um, that distance is accurate. Then I'm going to use a circle template. These are going to be 11 millimeter Tohican eyes that I'm putting in this decoy. So I'm going to use a circle template, position that with the front where my mark is there, and give myself a, a guideline on where I'm going to need to remove wood. Do that on both sides. That gives me a, a gauge. Now what I like to do is look from the front head on and see if those eye positions that I drew look right. And I can tell you, just looking at it from the side, this eye looks lower than this eye. So we'll make an adjustment and make sure that when I cut this opening, I move that up from the original position that I Put it in. And I think that's good that uh, things are not perfect every time, uh, especially on eye set, and trying to get those where they're exactly at the same level is, uh, is a real challenge. Okay, I'm happier with that. Now I'm going to use a wood gouge, and this is the way I do it. Other people, I'm sure, do it differently, but I use the wood gouge to work around the circle that I drew and relieve this area so that we have room to put in glass eye. And I'm just going to pop that out. Do the same on the other side. Make sure you have a good hold on the uh, on the head when you're doing this work. Okay, got my holes ready to go. I use plastic wood and acetone to smooth it, and that has worked well for me over the years. I know there are a lot of different ways that you can set eyes, but I'll be using plastic wood for this demonstration. I use the lid of the acetone can to hold a little acetone, and then I have some old brushes that I use strictly for this purpose. We're going to start by dampening the hole with acetone. And take some plastic wood to fill the hole. Take one of the eyes, make sure I'm hitting that front dimension that we set. 
this is where it gets a little tricky. I'm going to press that in far enough. There should be a little downward and a little forward angle on the eye so that from the front view of the bird, you're able to see the pupil. I should have a glove on doing this, but for purposes of this video, I'm just going to speed things up and use my hands. Not a good practice. I'm just pushing plastic wood into the area to make sure I get a good fill. And then I'm going to use the acetone and this old brush to smooth that down. And then I'm going to use a smaller brush to open the eye back up. And we don't want to lose the eye channel. So this is almost like sculpting in this stage. I don't need that much material back there. I've opened it up. Now I'm pulling that plastic wood in all directions away from the eye to blend it into the surrounding area. Then go back and forth with the smaller brush to find the kind of the oval or almond shape. Not a perfectly round shape normally to a, a duck's eye. So again, it's a lot like sculpting. I'm moving this plastic wood around where I feel like the right amount of the eye is exposed and I've got a good blend into the carving. So hopefully that demonstrates the technique and I'll keep working this, smooth things out, get that eye the way I want it. But meanwhile, I'm gonna go to the, the other side Installing that eye on the opposite side. Pushing it in and working around to, to get it in the right position. And you'll notice I'm starting to look head on because uh, trying to get those eyes level across from each other. Not the best videography here, but this is a low budget operation, so or no budget operation. Anyway, I'm just using that smaller brush to further refine uh, both eye openings and make sure I'm satisfied with the way they look. That's a wrap on the eye set. I'll let these dry and uh, clear off any film that's on the eye and then do a light sanding to blend it into the wood. But we're completed on the head now. We can move to the carving of the body in our next session. So I'll see you then.